Glenn McCrory, excellent analyst. Give us your opinion on what went wrong for Sam Sheedy tonight. Uh, yeah, to break it down very, very simply, he was just beaten by a bigger man. It was, it was as simple as that. Um, the, the tactics from Cameron were very simple, just walk forward, like hold a high guard, so you're throwing lots of, he was throwing lots of shots, but not having any effect. So when that happens, he's starting to tire. Um, and then it was just a case of, of, of breaking him down, and that's exactly what he did. It was basically the story of the fight was, he, Sheedy didn't have the power or the size to get to him and to hurt him. And that was, you know, if you can't hurt somebody, you're not going to win. Just very quickly, um, what would you have said to Sheedy going into this fight instead of doing what he did tonight? Or was there no so way to do that? It was, it's very hard when you're a bigger, stronger man, but he just had to, he had to engage with him, make him fight, make him tear himself out. So he had to be hitting, not getting hit. He had to stay in the pocket. Yep. Lots of head movement rather than feet movement. Had to be lots of head movement. And, okay. um, and that was the only chance he had against a bigger man. And, and you know, that was the problem. The problem was he made, he, he came down and he had his strength still at middleweight and you know, what you, it's very hard when you're in with such a big amount and you haven't got the punch power yeah. to stop that. Final question, Billy Joe Saunders versus Liam Cameron. Now, Billy Joe Saunders is, is one of the best fighters around. Billy Joe Saunders is a terrific talent. Um, when he's properly in shape, properly focused, takes some beat and you know, they get him right and get him totally focused. He's a fight for Triple G and that's no kidding. So Cameron needs to, you know, he's just, he needs to get the middleweight, middleweight sorted out. Be strong at middleweight, and then there's lots he could do. Thank you very much, Glenn. Cheers.